What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are on Raid Shadow Legends. I'm going to be showing you guys um, a build that I came up with. I mean, it's not even that great, but it can help somebody in the beginning of the game. Um, as you might have heard in the last video, if you watched, it was one of the reasons why I got into the beginning of Brutal. So I'm only up to level 5 in Brutal, but this is one of the reasons why I help. So you know you get a uh, login characters, and so we end up getting Jizzle, right? Well, Jizzle, I think his login gave you counter gear, and what I did is I used that counter gear on Ronda. Now you might be thinking, why did you do that? It gives you a forty percent, thirty-five percent chance of um, counter attack when hit which is a pretty decent amount. So it's been helping me clear a lot of the content. So uh, we can go into one of the dungeons real quick and I can just show you like how, let's just go to like, I don't know if I pushed Felon's Gate enough yet, but let's, let's just go to the last level. Cause I, I just leveled up my um, Aethel too. So she might be a, a little bit more of help now. So let's, I'll just show this off. If we lose, we lose, but I know they're going to get to attack us. Possibly. Maybe not. No, they got to get to attack us on one of these groups. And I did finally get some good gear on my Jizzo, so now he's really been a good help too. Actually, maybe they won't get any attacks off. Nah, they gotta get some attacks off, right? Jizzle put counter on her, but that's not the reason why we use her. But Jizzle helps her get extra counter. So her and Jizzle are kind of like this mini pair that you kind of get. So if you, even if you wasn't weren't running counter, Jizzle can help her. I was not expecting to pass that level. I guess. Leveling up Aethel was to 50 is, is, is uh, helping this group right now. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys an arena then because that, that wasn't a good one. But I know in arena for sure that we would get attacked. So let's go to arena real quick. Um, Let's just, well actually let's just go against this one. This team is pretty strong. All right, so Aether started off with her move. Everybody got attacked. We didn't get a counter there. We didn't get a counter at all. Should've went for that reckless draft because he's putting heals on his, on his characters now. Why not even win this? Oh, she got the double attack off. Oh, yep, we should've been attacking that reckless draft. Direct, is this director draft or director? Yeah, draft. Yeah. We should have been attacking him. Let's go to this team right here. Well, we didn't get any counters off on that one. The majority of the time when I'm fighting, I get counters off. Well, we cleared down pretty easy too, but. A lot of times she'll do what, what we call cutting in some of the games I play. So she end up cutting the team because she'll get hit by their team members and then she'll cut in front of the, our next team member to get the counter. But right now we're just burning through some of these teams. There she go. She got the counter attack off right there. So it's only thirty five percent chance. So, but sometimes you get a bunch of those. Majority of the time, be like back to back to back, you get the counter attack. So if you, your team is slower and one of the units attack, then the next unit attacks. She'll counter that person and she'll counter that person, and then your teammate get to go. So it's really helpful to clear some content. 
I don't know if it's the best build for her, but and for sure I know that our um stats aren't that great. As you can see, um our total stats right here. So HP being her highest stat, we got crit damage to hundred percent and her crit rate is low. So I really wish I could get her crit late crit rate up higher. But I don't have masteries on her yet, so maybe that could be where I can get majority of the crit rate. As you can see, I'm getting 5% from masteries. And I was thinking about doing her as my, my main at first. So I was getting ready to start um, doing her masteries. I was going to go ahead and pay for her masteries so that I can do them, but I don't know now. She has 120 speed and 1,800 attack. Which is pretty decent. But we're probably gonna end up building these two units to be our main legendary. Possibly, I don't know. Like, I've been debating because he only has one AoE. And I really want somebody with at least two AoEs so they can just like be the main leader of damage. I don't know. We have to try these units, level these units up and try them out. Uh, I'll probably be doing that today. So you probably won't get a video on it till probably the end of the week or next week. But guys, if you like that video, let me know how you build your Ronda. Let me know if you think this build is good or bad. I need to get a ring for her now that I'm thinking about it. I just haven't, haven't did Spider yet. This is my next goal is to get into spider and start grinding spider out for some banners. Even if they like low level banners, that's what we need to do. Banners and rings. But anyway, guys, leave a comment. See you guys next time.